What is up, guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. In the previous episode, we saved uh, Fisherman Horizon from the Galbadia soldiers, and we also completed the Master Fisherman side quest as well. And now the first thing we're doing this episode is head to the quad. Because <clears throat> we got to meet with Selfie. And try to cheer her up because she's in a bad mood apparently. Probably because her stage is all ruined. Cheer her up. Yeah, you got a point there. Let's figure out to see the headmaster now. What's the catch though, Irvine? Yeah, I figured that. Oh, that's why we've been getting them flashbacks uh, for Laguna. Yep. We gotta put a stop to her. We need to defeat the sorceress. <clears throat> Alright, so Squall's going to be the new leader. Yeah, it's all kind of confusing. 
But it'll make sense later. Alright, so we're going to have to pick an instrument for each of the characters. Alright, so each character has a particular instrument that they're best at using, obviously. And if you pick correctly, I believe you get an item or something, if I'm not mistaken. So I need to look this up because I'm not sure. Um... Who's best with what? I can't remember. I did this a couple years ago, but I can't remember who... Who's best with what instrument. So I have to look it up real quick. So, be right back. Alright, so I was actually wrong. No character is actually best with a particular instrument. That's not how it works. Actually, it doesn't really matter what instruments you give a particular character, but there's two combinations that change the cutscene that you'll get later. There's good and there's bad. Um, for the good cutscene, which is what we're going to go for, um, we need to choose guitar. And you can do this in any order, it doesn't matter. A guitar, flute, tap dancing, and violin. Let's choose flute. And then uh, tap dancing. Again, you can do this in any order, it doesn't matter. And then last but not least, a uh, violin. And this will get the good cutscene. And obviously there's a bad cutscene too. <clears throat> Let's find out what everybody's doing. Uh, but we already know what everybody's doing. Renault's all dressed up. I don't know. I guess you can't talk to these seeds over here. Squall really does not want to do this. <laughs> Irvine's a pervert.
Yeah, you can like change the view or whatever. By pressing square. Reminds me of a uh, Final Fantasy XI theme. I don't remember what area it was. I think it's either Selbina or Mohara. That's what this theme reminds me of. Yeah, if you go over here, there's the magazine that uh, uh, Irvine left. A naughty magazine. <laughs> no, he wasn't kidding. Yep, that's true, actually. A lot of side quests will be able to do pretty soon. And those side quests are going to take a good chunk of time to do. I like how she just flip, flip, uh, flips backwards. He doesn't want anything to do with Ranella. He's a loner, just let him be a loner. I can relate with uh, Squall because I'm kind of a loner myself, so. I'd say of all the Final Fantasy characters, I relate most to um, Squall. And that's the main reason why I like this game. Because Squall's personality is pretty much me. In a nutshell. Yeah, seems logical to me. Yes, together. Now here's another flashback. Squall's a kid. And remember all these flashback cutscenes for later in the game as well. And keep that area in mind as well. Alright, so we've got to report to the bridge. Yeah, that was a good cutscene between 
Squall and Ornella. Uh, but if you do the other path, um, she'll like run away from you. She'll get mad and she'll get mad and run away from you. She'll get mad and run away from Squall. Anyway, let's report to the bridge. the third floor and go see what's up now yeah, so you can take care of the supplies all right Gonna take care of the students with the doctor. All right. All right, we can go finally. <clears throat> Alright, so there's going to be the pilot around here. Alright, yeah, we'll do that. But, first... Yeah, she's CC group... She's... CC group card queen heart. Yep. So we'll be challenging her in a second here. Um, I should probably go save it before we do that, but I think we'll be all right. All right, trade rule all, and it's got open up. All right, good. Open his back. Okay, she has the card. Nice. Carbuncle. It's honestly not that good of a card. It well, it's decent. Yeah, we won. Uh, yep, we won. Good. Alright, so we get the carbuncle card, alright. CC Group Leader King, the card master. Oh, we will. We will. Trust me. And we're going to be doing that right now, actually. Let's find out who the king is. I know who it is. Alright, so to challenge the king, <clears throat> we're going to have to... Crap, it won't let us... We can't go down right now. So let's talk to this guy. It won't let us go down there, darn it. Now we'll go ahead and leave and then come back.
All right, let's put um, Rosella and <clears throat> Irvine in my party. All right, now we can actually drive around with the garden. So we're going to explore the sea and all that stuff. And we can also make landfall at uh, beaches and stuff. So if we go to the beaches, we can land. Yeah, triangle takes you to the cockpit. Cockpit. Square go makes you go forward. Circle makes you go back. X makes you get off. And then you steer with the directional button, and then you can change point of view by pressing this R2. See? There you go, R2 rotates the camera. Let's go back to the cockpit and head down here. And let's go talk to the doctor. At the infirmary. save it real quick first first things first to do the king uh, you must sleep here at the room here uh, you got to make sure to leave your party though so let's choose leave leave me alone we may, maybe we have to go see the doctor now maybe now that we don't have a party. We're supposed to talk to the doctor though. Okay, here we go. You gotta press square to do it. Okay. Oh, she used to be the king. Okay. But she's beat by another girl. Interesting. Alright. So now we gotta head back to the dormitory. And now the king will show up sometimes. Oh, uh, when you sleep. Oh, uh, you definitely want to save it first. In case you lose the game, you can just reset. And just keep resting until she shows up. And look who it is. It's Quistus. She's the king. And now we got Chouncer to cards. Or player at cards, I mean. Okay, she doesn't have the card I need, so I'll have to play her again later. Oh, but we do want to beat her the first time, obviously.
darn. We got a draw against her. Shoot. All right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We can still go challenge her on the bridge. Uh, she didn't. She didn't have the card I wanted that time anyway. Let's go to the third floor. Irvine, Diablos, Minotaur, and Siren. Nope, still don't have the card I need. Yeah, she does have high level cards as you can tell. She plays very slow though. Another draw. Darn. She's actually pretty tough to beat, but it's almost impossible to lose against her. Plays very weird too. Very unorthodox. Yeah, we beat her that time. Cards Club Master. You get that trophy for beating all the card club members. Still doesn't have the card I need. to keep challenging her until she has it. Oh, there it is, right there. The Gilgamesh card. Yeah, it's pretty good as you can tell. Uh, but we have no way of taking it over. But we won. We got the Gilgamesh card, all right. Let's go ahead and check that out. We're getting a huge collection of cards. All right, I'm in the video here. I'm thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode, and later.